Alexa Totino. I am the freshman dean at the Gabelli School of Business, Rose Hill Campus. The great thing about my job is I never do the same thing twice. And in specific days, I may be meeting with the entire freshman class in a large scale advising session, or meeting one on one with a lot of different students to make sure that they are meeting the academic goals that they set forth when they started here at the Gabelli School of Business. I also work with the other class deans and other Gabelli School and Fordham University administrators to make sure that we're moving the school forward and achieving the large scale goals that will allow students to really be successful and really be impactful business leaders in the future. To meet with me, students can always stop by my office in Hughes Hall, room 416. There are a lot of different ways to stop by and check in with me. Primarily, if students want to set an appointment, which is where we really talk about a student's personal goals, how I can help achieve them, or any issues or situations that come up, students will use the appointment system that they're trained on when they arrive at Fordham University and the Gabelli School of Business. That way, we make it easy. A student logs in using their Fordham identification number, they set up an appointment with me or any other applicable administrator, and they come to my office once the day and time arrives. Additionally, I have a large number of walk-in hours throughout the week. Walk-in hours are a little bit different than appointment hours. Students can just show up at my office during the prescribed times, sign in, and see me. It's a first come, first serve basis, and normally walk-in hours are for quicker touch points where students have you know, one or two things they want to check in about. The reason why we have both of those opportunities for students is because we want to make sure that we're accessible as deans and that we're serving the students in the best way possible. So we provide both of those opportunities to really get to know students, but also offer that quick touch point if it's not too significant of a problem or a question. Something that every student should know coming into the Gabelli School of Business is that every administrator is here to support your goals and to support your academic experience. In order to maximize your time with me as your freshman class dean, it's really important that I get to know you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So, what I'd love for students to do, starting in August when they arrive, is set up some time to meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. This way, I get to know who they are, what their passions are, what they're excited about, and what some of their goals are. We can also talk about what your goals should be if you don't know what they are, or how to plan for the near future and the long-term future. Why is that important? It's really important because there are so many administrators here at Fordham University and the Gabelli School of Business that want to help you achieve your goals. But we can only do that if we know what they are. So by getting to know me, I can both support you and introduce you to other avenues of the university. So if you're really excited about entrepreneurship, I can connect you to the huge entrepreneurship community here at Fordham University. Likewise, if you think that you might want to study finance or accounting, but you're not sure which are the best fits for you, we can discern a little bit more about what makes you more interested, and then I can connect you with professionals here and perhaps alumni in the network that can help further your discernment and your discovery. As a freshman coming into the Gabelli School of Business, there are a few things I think you should know to maximize your experience here at Fordham University's Rose Hill campus. I'm going to narrow them down into three specific areas. They all really connect, so think about it and reflect on it as you prepare to arrive here at Fordham. The first is be open to different experiences. By being open, you're allowing yourself to explore things that you might not normally have pursued. By being open, I encourage you to join academic experiences like competitions, like meeting with faculty and co-curricular opportunities, like participating in clubs and community service in areas that you may not have explored in high school or in your personal life before arriving at Fordham. These are great ways to discover new passions and really develop yourself as an adult here on campus. I think the most important thing that you can do coming to campus is really be uncomfortable. I don't mean that in a bad sense. What I want you to do is push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Don't always stick with the same group of friends that you met on the first day of school. Explore the different communities within Fordham University. Explore Manhattan, which is certainly our campus. You can travel all over New York City, and there are a lot of different learning opportunities off campus that will be equally as important to your academic journey. Push yourself to have challenging and thoughtful conversations. Push yourself to question your values and beliefs. That's gonna make you a stronger person, a stronger leader, and a really successful person in the future.
It was a really cold day in March and I arrived on campus super early, about 3 a.m. And it was because of a really, really, really huge surprise. You two performed at Fordham. And I just remember being here, being on Edwards Parade, watching the sun come up and watching Bono saying it's a beautiful day right over the steps of Keating. And I thought there is no better place for this song to be sung than in this perfect spot right here where my home is and my heart is. So that's one of my awesome, fantastic, telltale Fordham memories for sure. And I would say more recently, um, something that really sticks with me and still gives me goosebumps and chills was uh, the first graduation ceremony that I worked for the Gabelli School of Business. I had always heard about this tradition, but I never got to experience it until that graduation day, faithfully, in um, May 2017. At the end of the graduation ceremony, everyone's so excited and so abuzz and can't wait to see their family and celebrate. And right before everyone is dismissed and proceeds off of the graduation lawn, the senior dean invites everyone to stand and throw their caps. And there's not a more amazing feeling of completion and success and community than everyone just being so excited, celebrating that they've graduated, throwing their caps up and hugging each other and really um, getting to celebrate with their families for the first time. And every year, I look forward to that moment to be present and to watch as the culmination of an academic career comes to the point where someone can really celebrate with everyone who has such a critical part in getting them to that point.